What's up everybody and welcome to Mass Effect 3. It has been a long journey through Mass Effect 1 and 2. Saren, Sovereign, defeated. Collectors, we came, we saw, we conquered. And now we just have the Reapers in the way. Doesn't seem like a hard task, but hey, I think we're up for it. If you are new to my channel and this is your first Let's Play, welcome. I am a completionist gamer at heart. I love to take in every single aspect of the game, including reading all the lore, talking to all the characters, just getting fully immersed into our Shepard, or just any game that we play, and live the experience. Not just play it, live it. This is a blind Let's Play, so please, no spoilers. I do not mind subtle tips for combat. Or say if I go to an area and miss something, it's okay to let me know to go back and look at it. Mass Effect 3. Wow. It has been a long time. It's been about, I would say, almost uh, two years. So Mass Effect's been a big part of my life. I'm just ready to get started. So let's, let's go ahead. No wasting time. Let's get to it. It left off in the Arrival DLC with Harbinger. I was about to say Sovereign. With Harbinger... Pretty annoyed at Shepard, and then the Batarian Relay being destroyed, but here we are. There is some settings that I want to go over, which I thought was so freaking cool, and I wish the last game had it, which is this conversation mode, it looks like whatever it is, full decisions, all conversations require participation, that's probably the best bet, so we can pick our own choices, but it looks like you can go into like cinematic mode with the decisions, you don't even need to do anything, but right here. The ultimate setting in a video game. Shepard's helmet off in conversation and squad mate helmet off in conversations too. So that is going to really help. We, for Mass Effect 2, we just kind of had that. We had our, our Garrus thing on, our little eye Garrus thing. But anyways, let's just get started. I'm ready to go. Import Mass Effect 2 Atticus Shepard. 2021 is when we created this Shepard. The end, December. So, around December would be two years of our lives just in to Mass Effect. Whoa. Spacer, War Hero, Adept. I think we're going to go... I was thinking about changing classes for this one, but it really... I don't think it would make sense. We committed to an Adept in the first game, and the second game, let's just commit it to it in the third game. 85 hours in the second game, friends. Whoa. We saved the Rachni Queen in the first game. We rescued Caden Alenko on Vermeer. Chose to save the Council. Save Malin's data, kept Rex alive on Vermeer, destroyed the Geth heretics. That was a really tough decision. Hell, half of these decisions are tough. Destroyed the Collector base. <laughs> Went out in a blaze of glory. Sorry, elusive man. Didn't mean to. Survived the suicide mission with 12 squad mates. Romance Liara before Mass Effect 2. We did not romance anyone in Mass Effect 2 at all. We had something going on with Kelly there at the end. But, I guess that was just for fun. Anyways, we have a quick save and a hard save. I remember a hard saving when we ended last episode of Mass Effect 2, so let's just, let's do that one. The quick save, I'm not sure where that is. It's probably the same one. There she is. There's the Normandy. Atticus Shepard! How are you, sir? <laughs> Look at him, he looks a bit bug-eyed. But I'm okay with it. Maybe we should do some... Tweaks. I think we should do some tweaks. Can we do some tweaks? Let's mess with some things. Because I feel like he looks really good. I'm loving this import. Because it looks pretty much just like he was in the second game. I'm thinking I want to mess with this here. The eyebrows a little bit. Maybe the nose. He's got a beak on him. Woo! <laughs> you got a beak like me, Atticus. How do we do... Would it be brow deaf? Probably. I think we should go down just a little bit on that. I want to make his eyebrows just down a smidge. Atticus is getting the eyebrows done up. You know, don't mind him. He's getting a bit old, so <laughs> he needs to he needs to he needs to do it up. The chin, I feel like his chin should be a bit bigger, yeah? How do we make it bigger? It would be height probably. Hold on. Just longer, because it looks small. Maybe if we put it in the middle. I think that's about good. And then the nose. We had to go down a little bit on the nose, yeah? 
Nose depth. There it is. I think that's good. I'm not touching the eyes because... <laughs> Well, from the other games when I first created them, they, the eyes were just fucking crazy, man. I mean, come here, let's look at it. Look at these fucking eyes. Oh! <laughs> Atticus, you looking good, sir. You ready? <laughs> I'm gonna keep it like this. I think he's good. I just want to keep it kind of how it was. The nose, the chin. I think we're good to go. Oh, the ears. Let's do the ears a little bit. Because he's looking like he's got... How do, how do we do the ears? Ear orientation? I can kind of remember most of the settings from the other games. Yeah. About normal. Okay. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and start. Adepts are biotic specialists capable of disabling and killing enemies with raw biotic power. While they lack advanced combat training, they are the best at defeating enemies without firing a shot. They are outfitted with L5X implants that can spawn a micro-singularity, damaging enemies and pulling them into the air. What do we start with? Warp? Hell yes! Throw, shockwave again, a singularity pull, and cluster... Grenade. Everything is exactly the same as the second game, besides this cluster grenade. That's really cool, so it does seem like we got something new. I don't think we need to read the other classes because we've already done it in the other Mass Effect games. And it's probably around the same, but I'm curious what they have. Soldiers have Adrenaline Rush, Concussive Shot, Frag Grenade, Incinerary Ammo, Disruptor Ammo, and Cryo. What does Infiltrator have? Disruptor Ammo, Cryo Ammo, Incinerate, Tactical Cloak, Sticky Grenade, and Sabotage. That's definitely new. Never heard of Sabotage yet, have we? And then Vanguard. It was a really close call in the first game. I've nearly picked Vanguard over a depth, and then Engineer was something too. So the Vanguards use L5N implants, and the Adepts use L5X. Ooh. Incinerary Ammo, Cryo Ammo, Biotic Charge, Nova. That's definitely new. Shockwave's still the same, and Pool is the same. And then a Sentinel. What do Sentinels use? L5 what? It doesn't even say what they use then, for Amp. Throw, warp, lift grenade, lift grenade, whoa. Tech armor overload and cryoblast. We have cluster grenades. And then engineers. Incinerate overload, cryoblast, automated light weaponry, sabotage, and sentry turret. A sentry turret, huh? What is this sabotage? It seems new. Sentry Torch new too. Anyways, let's play as an adept. Let's keep it going. Atticus Shepard, Spacer, War Hero. And does everything look good? He's still looking like he's excited. Got the eyes up and everything. <laughs> looking like you've been through some shit, sir. Let's go. Oh, it's also on Insanity. I didn't show it in the settings, but it is on Insanity. We'll just show it once we get in. I don't think we can pick it, can we? Usually would have us picking it by now, yeah? Here we go. Mass Effect 3. How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long-range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. They're all mobilizing everything. Holy shit. In 2157, humanity discovered it was not alone in the universe. Thirty years later, they found a peaceful place among the dozens of galactic species. But this idyllic future is overshadowed by the Dark Past. Reapers, a sentient race of machines responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life every 50,000 years, are about to return. The leaders of the galaxy are paralyzed by indecision, unable to accept the legend of the Reapers. In fact, but one soldier. Something. Something. Couldn't get it all.
<laughs> I thought that was real. <laughs> I'm like, that's fucking cool. <laughs> Commander, you're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Anderson? Admiral? You look good, Shepard. There he is. Maybe a little soft around the edges. Yeah. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? <laughs> it's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. Well, it's definitely the Reapers. Anderson's here! And he said we're getting fat. <laughs> what the fuck, Anderson? We're in a detention center, it seems. We back in the Alliance. Obviously. Anderson's here. We have a new fellow that's completely jacked. And... Well, something about the defense committee. We are in a detention center. It makes sense, though, because... Blowing up with the, the Batarian Relay, Hackett told us that we would have to go to Earth eventually and answer for what we did. We should have prepared more, I'm certain. Anderson. It's 100% the Reapers, what else could it be? It's the Reapers. And we're not ready for them. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the defense committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You faced down a Reaper. Hell, you spoke to one, then blew the damn thing up. <laughs> you've seen how they harvest us, what they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. That why they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. When you blew up the Batarian Relay, hundreds of thousands of Batarians died. It was that or let the Reapers walk through our back door. I know that, Shepard. And so does the committee. If it wasn't for that, you'd have been court-martialed and left to rot in the brig. That, in your good word? Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you too, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. James? Anderson? <laughs> Shepard? Kate? How'd it go in there, Major? Okay, I think. Hard to know. I'm just waiting for orders now. Major? You hadn't heard? No, I'm a bit out of the loop these days. Sorry, sir. Didn't mean to keep you out of the loop. <laughs> Mass Effect 3's not holding back. We got Caden Delenko already. <laughs> what the hell? Don't worry about it, it's fine, Major. I don't think... Okay, yeah, don't worry about it. It's not like... I don't hold a grudge for what happened in the second game. Why should we? He was definitely distraught with the situation, and, well, it's good to learn now. Better late than never, yeah? So don't worry about it. I'm sure you had your reasons. Yeah, I suppose I did. So it's, it's good to see you. Admiral. <laughs> so Come on. Freaking cool. <laughs> see you, sir. Have a good one. Major Alenko. <laughs> you know the commander? I used to. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Soul Relay. Whatever How? this is, it's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Thank you. 
then, how do we stop them? Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are. More powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But... There must be some way. We have been warning everyone for years now. And they just... ignored it. So... Survival at all costs, we stand together. Oh, man. I do feel like standing together is the only way. Survival at all costs, though? I'm curious of what Shepard would say. Stand together. It's the only way. If we're gonna have any chance at surviving this, we have to stand together. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon? It couldn't be that close already. How'd they get past our defenses? Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. Shit. They're just there. Here. Why haven't we heard from Admiral Hackett? What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight or we die. We should get to the Normandy. <gasps> oh my god. Move! Go, go, go! Fucking hell. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> Shepard! Anderson! Shepard! They're all going from. Come on, get up. Here, take this. We've got to get moving. This is Admiral Anderson. Report in anyone. Major Alanco, is that you? What's your status? I can't raise the Normandy. You'll have to contact them. We'll meet you at the landing zone. Anderson out. The whole defense committee. Already. Atticus. Let's get to work. <laughs> Let's get to work. Look at this motherfucker just hanging there! <laughs> They're massive! Come on, Shepard. Renegade Paragon, Caden Alenko, Codex. We can get to the spaceport. Let's okay, okay. Move. All right, all right, Anderson, hold on. Oh, that is slick. Follow Anderson to the spaceport. Look, the buildings are just, uh, oh my fucking word. There's a bunch of sovereigns everywhere. Steven, we got so many codexes. Look. Okay, Mass Effect, I get it. You're amazing at making intros to games. Let's look at our abilities. Warp, we got 20 points. We're level 30. Hold on first, let me see. Let me just make sure it is on Insanity because... Well, I thought I put it on it. Yeah, here it is. It is on Insanity, which is good. Oh, we already... Okay, it was already showed in that screen. Okay. We got 20 points. Should we do what we did in the first game? Go to the passives? Ooh, this cluster grenade, though. Atticus Shepard, adept. Look at him. He's ready. Is Bug Eye Syndrome in the opening... Whatever it was, in the character creation, it seems to have toned down inside the game itself, which is good. Alright, hold on, let me read this. I'm just, uh, whoa, the Reapers are fully here. I kinda didn't expect the Reapers to come immediately. I thought some time would happen. But yeah, here they are. 
Holy fucking hell. Them people, though. The whole defense committee's gone. Anderson's saying we gotta get to the Normandy. We're gonna go to the Normandy with Anderson. I said it in the first game. I said it. I wish that we never had the stuff with, happen with Anderson to where he lost his job. I wish he was always on the Normandy the whole time. That would have been so cool. I gotta read this. I'm so excited. Sorry. Be an expert tactician on and off the battlefield. Faster and stronger biotic powers. More dexterity. More charisma. Dexterity, though. They didn't have any dexterity in the, in the second game or the first game, yeah? Or it's just a new way of saying just what could it be? Okay, we get more reputation bonus. That's got to be Paragon Renegade. Power damage, 10%. Weight capacity bonus. That's new. Reputation by 4%. Increase weight capacity bonus by 20%. Weight capacity. We have to figure out what that might be. Increase reputation bonus by 4%. Increase damage bonus and force bonus by 10%. Ooh. Damage and force. Influence and duration. Oh, no. It picked it for us. I want this one, though. Can we respec? It's got to be a way to respec. I want the influence, the reputation stuff. Is it going to be like the second game? Yeah, but how? Why, though? If you think about it... Okay, damage and force. Increase damage by 50%. And force by 15%. In the last game, second game, we went with the Bastion trait, which gave us more influence and reputation, basically. So why would we... Why would they import the other one, the damage and force one? Does that make sense? And then the other ones will... Oh, we can... Hold on here, how's this level up? It costs 5 to level up, and we got 20. So, damage and capacity, squad bonus. Increase the force and damage of squad mate powers by 30%. I'm having a hard time concentrating here, because I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, damage and capacity. Increase damage bonus and force bonus by 10%. Increase weight capacity by 20%. I'm not sure what weight capacity does yet. But I think... Look at this, we can... Influence our squad with our fucking abilities now. That's what Miranda had in the second game but We can have it as Shepard. I always wondered why that wasn't a thing. I seen that Miranda had it But I always wondered why Shepard couldn't have it I'm gonna do damage and capacity because I want to know what this weight capacity is. It might be important 15 Combo mastery increase recharge speed of all powers by 40% for 30 seconds when detonating biotic combos Power mastery increase power Bonus and force bonus by 25% increased power durations. This sounds interesting. Recharge speed of all abilities by 40%. Yes, please. And biotic combinations. Give me that. We should do... We have a fitness line here. A cluster grenade. Let's do this cluster grenade. One and... I think one and done. Lob a biotic grenade cluster at your enemies and watch them fly. <laughs> okay. Sure. Sounds wonderful. Shockwave? Should we do a point in Shockwave? We'll hold off on Shockwave for now. What is this fitness? Put on some muscle and become fearless in close quarters combat like a Krogan. More melee damage, more health, more shields and barriers. Yes, please. More melee, more health, more shields and barriers. Why not? 15%? Should we do two? Increase health, barrier bonus by 10%. Yes, please. Might as well just do another one here. We got five points. We can do... Two in the fitness, maybe one the shockwave, see what it looks like. We're going to have to respec, yeah. Throw, what is throw? Increase force and damage of biotic detonations by 50%. Reset recharge time after biotic combos are detonated. There seems to be a lot about this biotic combos here. I'm going to wait on that. Let's wait on that. We'll put another point in the fitness, just increase melee bonus by 20%. I don't really melee that much. We didn't melee that much in the first game, so how useful would that be? Don't think it matters because it's going to branch us to the next one. Okay, let's go. We got to go. We'll just do melee damage for now. And we'll put one in the shockwave. Topple a row of enemies with a cascading shockwave. <laughs> what is the range on this? 10 meters? Seems to be a lot. Anderson, can we level you up? Aren't you on our squad now? I guess we can't. Look, we have the journal, right? I, want, I just want to see some. I'm not reading any codexes right now. I want to see if... Because the second game, there was tips in the second game to just mark all codexes as red. 
because we read them all in the first game and it was literally the same ones when we first came in. The Asari were the first. It is. It's the same ones again. At the end of the episode, I will breeze through the codexes and see if there may be new ones because we are getting new ones here. Fucking hell. The Reapers are here, friends. Holy fucking moly. We get our abilities up and going. Goodness. We ready for this? Bro. More. Oh, hell, man. <laughs> Got so many abilities now. These cluster grenades, it's gonna be sick. The fall of Karshan. Okay, let's go, come on. We gotta get to it, the Reapers. I'm trying to remember all the codexes here for... Where we gotta go? Shit. Sovereign. Let's Follow move. Anderson. Spacebar. Let's go, Anderson. Come on. Let's do it. Look One out. Reaper. How do you stop something so powerful? I don't think you can. At least not yet, anyways. We've been I've been saying it since we started. Take since we're learning. Jump. It's farther than it looks. Okay. Since we're learning all this stuff about Reapers, how do we beat them? How is it gonna happen? Look at them, they're just Come on, let's go. How does he not see us? Let's go. Oculus! There's a bunch of Oculus! We'll have to go this way. Alright, Anderson. I'm on it. Looks clear, let's go. We're running around with Anderson right now. Agent, you read me. I'm patching in Shepard. We're almost to the Normandy. I've got Lieutenant Vega with you. We're taking heavy fire. Lieutenant Vega? Husks! Take him out! Where? There's somebody running down there. Shoot him! <laughs> I'm out of ammo. Right. Out of ammo? Come on, we gotta move. Oh, you out of ammo? You did shot three times, Anderson. Maybe he just brought one clip just in case. Holy! There they are. Have to take these things out the old-fashioned way. Biotics. Don't let them grab you. Defeat husk. Hey, Amen. Can you hear these things? Gotta find I gotta a way out try of it. Let's look at this thing. It's bigger than skyscrapers. Anderson, can we talk to you? No. Whoa, what was that? How'd I do that? Okay. Ease the dive. Out of jail. 300 experience. Oh. Is it giving us experience now? Remember the f in the second game it would give us 100 credits? I really would love the 100 credits. You never know where it's gonna go. Watch it! Shit. Hold. Melee. Oh! Hell yes! Through this way. Let me help you get out of there. I thought I seen somebody down there. Let me help you. Look at Mass Effect already hitting us in the fields with this type of music. I need I need a second. <laughs> this music's really good. Let me help you get out of there. Let me help you. <laughs> I need to get you someplace safe. Take my hand. You can't help me. Shepard! In here! There's a there's a kid here though. We just can't leave him. Oh he's fuck. Just disappeared. Ah, this is a goddamn mess. Every minute these machines are here, thousands of innocent people die. I won't be responsible. It's war, people die. I understand how you feel. 
Damn, Anderson, it is rough to see. The fucking Reapers just came down and destroying everything so easy. How did they get here so fast? It, what is the time jump here? It can't be that far from the second game because we're, we're on trial here. And when the second game ended, I would say within a year, has to be. I understand how you feel, Anderson. It's hard enough fighting a war, but it's worth knowing no matter how hard you try, you can't save them all. Exactly. They hit so fast. I thought we'd have more time. We knew they were coming. And they still just cut through our defenses. We need to go to the Citadel. Talk to the Council. The Citadel? The fight's here. It'll be everywhere soon enough. You said it yourself. <clears throat> the Reapers will destroy everything if we don't stop them. The Council has to help us. You sure about that? No, but you're a Council Spectre. <laughs> that has to count for something. <laughs> Wait. Gotcha! <sighs> Thanks. I owe you one. More than one. <laughs> yeah, we do. Grab some ammo. Wait a second, friends. Okay, hold on here. We are going to at least have to read something because I'm confused. Can we read about... Humanity and Systems Alliance? Can we read about Anderson? Because he said... No, but you're a council specter. Well, Anderson, you're a counselor. Did something happen? Earth, the home... Oh, we need to... Earth, the home world and capital of humanity, was enjoying a new golden age before the Reapers attacked. Disease, pollution, and other social ills were on the decline, thanks to technological advances and a wealth of resources from the colonies. Earth was an inspiration, even to alien cultures resulting in influence out of proportion with humanity's brief time on the galactic stage. The Reaper attack has put an end to any semblance of this former life. The great cities of Earth are storehouses of human DNA for the Reapers to harvest. Reaper gunships, capable of megaton-scale firepower, annihilated industrial centers in seconds. The militaries of Earth's disparate nation-states have retained only partial communication with the system's alliance fleets, leaving the planet's resistance efforts uncoordinated and vulnerable. The loss of the Kambui network has cut off Earth's economy from the rest of the galaxy, sending shockwaves across galactic markets and a significant obstacle to receiving aid. So, the convoy system's gone. They can't contact anyone from Earth. Known associates? Admiral Stephen Hackett is a decorated officer in the Systems Alliance, currently assigned to Arcturus Station on the far side of the Sol Relay. In the battle for the Citadel, Admiral Hackett commanded the 5th Fleet. Following that victory, he was promoted to head of the Alliance military. Hackett was born to a single mother in Buenos Aires in 2134. When his mother died in the pandemic of 2146, he was placed in the Advanced Training Academy for Juveniles, where his superior talents in science and leadership quickly became evident. Hackett enlisted in 2152, volunteering for high-risk missions to colonize space beyond the Sol Relay. He was commissioned as a second lieutenant on Arcturus Station in 2156, and soon proved his ability in the First Contact War. His rare ascent from enlisted man to admiral remains an Alliance legend. You ain't fucking lying. You were an enlisted Hackett? A private, private Hackett, and now he's an admiral. That is sick. After Anderson, what is get going? I really want to know what's going on with Anderson here. Admiral David Edward Anderson is a career military officer in the Systems Alliance Navy. Born in London in 2137, he later moved to Arcturus Station and became the first graduate of the Alliance's now renowned N7 Marine program. Anderson is one of the Alliance's most decorated Special Forces operatives and served with honor during the First Contact War. He was the original captain of the SSV Normandy before relinquishing command to his XO, Commander Shepard. After the Alliance victory in the Battle of the Citadel, Anderson briefly served as the Citadel's first human counselor. He soon became embroiled in a Cerberus plot to abduct his friend Kaylee Sanders, however, and learned that he was unable to live a life without action. 
He stepped down as counselor and returned to the military to prepare for the Reaper invasion. The Alliance Parliament named Donald Udina as his successor. Fucking hell. Udina's the counselor now, huh? What? I know Carly Sanders from the first book. I remember... It's been a while since I've read the first book, and that was the only thing I read with Mass Effect books. It was the first one, and then the Elusive Man comic, but Carly Sanders came up with Anderson in the first, uh... The first book with Anderson and Saren and stuff. Let's go. I'm not gonna read too Reno, much into let's it. Keep moving. We probably could have got told that, and the Codex has told us ahead of time. I'm just friends. I just gotta know. You know, I've just, it's burning me up. Why Anderson? Saying, like, well, you're a council specter, specter. You know. Yeah. Major Alenko, we're inside of the space. Holy. GTA, three minutes. Come on. Major. Caden. Shit. Damn it, they're in trouble. They're taking down a dreadnought? Oh my word. Fight it. Is it even hurting it? Oh. No. This is serious, friends. How the fuck? Normandy, we're going to reroute. Do you copy? Normandy, come in. Anderson. Friendlies. Friendlies, friendlies. <laughs> Where? Oh, there. Anderson, friendlies. <laughs> you two all right? Get down, they'll see you. Look at that! Keep your head down. Okay. Nice shot. Whoa! What was that? Holy cannibal! Finish him off. Right. Shepard, over here. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> oh, Anderson, there's some ammo, sir. I need to get some ammo. What happened here? Our gunship was shot down. We barely made it. You have a radio? We're trying to contact our ship. No. There's one in the gunship, but it's gonna be crawling with those things. Stay here, son. We'll get you out of here. Come on. Let's get to that gunship. Anderson and Shepard! <laughs> oh, look! Anderson is in our squad now! Look at him down there! <laughs> Hold on, Anderson. I fucking better be able to look. We can level Anderson up. That's so cool. Damn, Anderson, you ain't got uh, ain't got nothing and nothing. Concussive shot, frag grenade, fortification, incendiary ammo, and alliance admiral. Anderson gains boost to weapon damage, health, and shields. Anderson, let's give you some boost damage. Damage and durability. Anderson gains further boost to health, shields, weapon damage. Yep. Anderson gains. Hold on here, because what else does he have? Incinerary ammo, he has frag grenade. Let's do one in frag grenade. Rip your enemies apart with this shrapnel packed grenade. And the combat is so fucking smooth. Did you hear that? It had to be a biotic combo, whoa. Incinerary ammo, does it got squad ammo? Because if it does, Anderson, you're gonna relinquish that and give it to me, sir. Explosive burst damage. It don't look like squad, here, squad bonus, squad mates. Whoa, it's not on the last one. This was on the last one in the second game. Now it's kind of on this fourth one here. Holy hell, okay. We're gonna give him incinerate ammo. Squad bonus. There we go, Anderson. 15 points. All right, that's fine. Concussive shot. We'll give him concussive shot more. Flatten your enemy at precise blast at short or long range. Yeah, right on your ass. Remember, Grunt saying it every two seconds? Sure. <laughs> Increase force damage. Yep. I think that's fine. Anderson, we'll give you fortification. You're just like Grunt. Grunt had these same abilities. Did he not? We'll give him one in fortification. Whatever. Reinforce armor using protective focalt currents. Purge the current and send its charge to your gauntlets. For increased melee damage? Damn, Anderson. You're a fucking monster. He has spit an image of Grunt. Thin ammo. Oh, well, frag grenades, I think, is new, yeah? 
Yeah, frag grenade is new. We'll go more into this admiral stuff. Anderson gains further boost to health and shields. Sure. Durability. Increased health and shield bonus. But look, it's got a picture of three people like it was the same as the other ammo. What's this one? Increased weapon damage. We'll do bonus because it's got them three people there like, look at this one. The incinerary ammo right here. Three people. And you, you would think that squad, it would say squad though, yeah. And two, we'll go in the frag grenade again. Increase max grenade capacity by one, sure. There you go, Anderson. I'm gonna need your abilities up here though, sir. You got this, you don't got no frag grenades at all. Get that on, get this on. Damn, friends, we got so many fucking abilities that we can't even, <laughs> we can't even put our squad mate stuff up. In the last game, we left two abilities inactive, I think. Did we not? No, we left shot grenade. Or shot grenade. I've seen a grenade. We left shock wave, not shot grenade. Well, we'll just put his grenades up here. Maybe he'll pick up some along the way. Anderson, you ready for this? No. Let's roll. Man, this is intense. Fucking hell, just look at these reapers back here. Where'd he go? There he is. Shit. What the hell are those things? I don't know. Cannibals, whatever the fuck they are. I said cannibal, yeah? Ooh, it's over! Oh my goodness! Wait, so... Oh, we just blew them up. There's so many explosions going on here. We don't even need to shoot. Look at this cooldown. Warp them, warp them, warp them. <laughs> Hold on, man. Hold on, let me... I gotta read something here. Hold on. What's up with warp? Rip your enemy apart at a magical level. Stop target enemy regeneration of health and weaken armor. Did you see it on him, though? Throw. Throw is beastly in this game. It just explodes everything. Watch your enemy. Monic blast. Well, we got this. This here. This detonation. Impact radius 2 meters. Force. Oh, we don't have the detonation. This is the detonation one. Okay. They don't have any armor, though, which is good. Yeah, throw does the same thing warp just did. So throw and warp is essentially... Shit, Anderson. Warp. Warping. Warp debuffs. It's doing it. Everything that I was hoping for the adept in the second game. Remember, I said, "Wow, it would be so nice if we could do warp bombs on arm or shields and just anything." We were doing warp bombs on just Anderson. Where the fuck are we going? There, Matt. Find the radio. Pick up M8 Avenger. Shepard, over here. I found a radio. Where's the map, though, Anderson? Is there no map? Look at him. He's, he's like, hey, Shepard. Atticus. Over here. <laughs> okay, 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 Anderson. Take it easy. <laughs> this is great. Normandy, this is Anderson. Do you read? Admiral, what's your location? By a downed gunship in the harbor. I'm activating his distress beacon. Send support. We've got wounded down here. Major! Damn it! I've lost the signal. Let's hope Damn. that beacon does its job. And fast! We've got company. Bring it on. Holy hell, these mother efforts just dropping. They're just dropping in from the Normandy or so or not Normandy. Yeah, they're all coming from the Normandy. They're dropping in from the Oh! Jesus, this is great! <laughs> Anderson! Let me throw some grenades, sir. Hold on. Eat that, motherfucker! I think we missed. We got an assault rifle! <laughs> Hope they get there soon. You and me both! Eat that! Oh, this is great! Oh, oh Anderson, we're getting fucked up! Let me use your abilities. Oh, you're using it for me. Thank you. I gotta get my shield back, Anderson. 
Oh, this helps though. Damn it. Maybe we should change throwing warp because I keep pressing that five. You know, that's my that's my button. Is these combos though? Warp them. <laughs> he just walked into it. Yeah, okay. It works for me. Hey, Anderson. There it is. Music's intense. Reload, reload, reload. Oh, fuck. We have two rounds. Running out Swap of weapons. Ammo. Damn right, we're running out of ammo. But that's what biotics are for, Anderson. Oh. Look at our health meter, it doesn't regen. Oh, that's sick. I love it when it's hard like that in games. When does it regen though? After combat, maybe? Or it just doesn't regen at all. I'm loving this throw. It's so much fucking better. It's smooth. Get up. Warp him. Arc it. Can we throw and make an explosion? Oh. There it is. Warp. Oh, yeah. Hey Anderson, how you how you doing? Take it, take it easy. <laughs> Warp. Anyone else? We gotta read about what the uh, fuck these cannibals are. Whoa! How'd we do that? Shit. Anderson, I gotta, I gotta get behind cover, alright? You did it, Anderson! That's you doing it! Warping! There's more of them! Good. We gonna get out of here? Ah, we're fucking out of ammo! Hold on! Buster grenade! Cavalry's here, gentlemen! <laughs> there he is! About time. <laughs> Let's look go. At the, look at the Normandy. Oh. <clears throat> Welcome aboard, Shepard. Thanks. Shepard! Come on! I'm not going! Wait. You saw those men back there. There's a million more like them, and they need a leader. The hell you're not. Anderson, please! I thought Anderson was joining the Normandy! No! It done broke my heart. If you stay, I'm staying. Anderson. We're staying. I want to protect Earth. We're in this fight together, Anderson. It's a fight we can't win. Not without help. We need every species and all their ships to even have a chance at defeating the Reapers. Talk to the Council. Convince them to help us. What if they won't listen? Then make them listen. Now go! That's an order. I don't take orders from you anymore, remember? Consider yourself reinstated, Commander. You know what you have to do. I'll be back for you, and I'll bring every fleet I can. Good luck. You too, Shepard. Man, we're just gonna leave Anderson. That's rough, man. There's the kid, he got out.
Holy hell, man. Already tearing up. <laughs> this game's got me already tearing up. That's crazy. That music. I didn't think they would kill that kid off. But here we are. At least we know the stakes. I mean, we what already the knew the stakes. What the going on? Where's Anderson? Where are we going? Hey! We're leaving. Leaving? What's going on? Anderson wants us to go to the Citadel. Get help for the fight. Bullshit, he wouldn't order us to leave. I don't like it either. He just did... Oh, let's take it in for a second. I need to talk about what's going on here. Did you see that? This, the, the rawness of that scene. The music. They knew that... Man. It's gonna hit us hard. It's gonna hit us hard knowing that... They know that... To see a kid go in the shuttle like that and then the Reapers just blow up the shuttle... Would hit us hard and... Well... That music was extraordinary. <laughs> Holy hell. He just did... What's his name? James? He just did James. I don't like it either. Damn it. Oh, it was so awesome to get Anderson here, but he's right. He's right. He's gonna have to stay on Earth. Someone's gotta do it. Who better than Anderson? I love it that he's not a counselor anymore. I really do. It didn't seem like he was happy in the second game whatsoever. He just wasn't. And it got given over to Udina. Fine, fuck him. Have it, Udina. Good. I'm sure he would have been a fine counselor anyway, but still. I don't like it either. He just did. He can see what's going on. Without help, this war's already over. Then you can drop me off at the nearest depot, because I'm stoic, Lieutenant. You don't want to go. We get it. But this isn't a democracy. We're going to the Citadel. You want out, you can catch a ride back from there. Commander! Joker, that you? Alive and kicking. Got an emergency transmission <laughs> from Admiral Hackett for you. Patch it through. Shepard. <laughs> Heavy losses. Our own force was overwhelming. There's no way we can defeat them conventionally. Anderson's already ordered me to the Citadel to talk to the Council. First, I need you to find outpost on Mars. Now we lose control of the system. Yes, sir. I've been researching the Prothean archives with Dr. Tassoni. We found a way to stop the Reapers. <laughs> the only way to stop them. Contact soon. Hack it out. Joker, set a course for the Mars archives. Mars? Roger that. Mars? Roger that. This is local. Why Mars? What do you think we'll find there? I don't know yet. But if it helps us win this war... Grab your gear. Holy hell. We're going to Mars? Uh, isn't that where they found Mass Effect technology, though? What could be there? He's researching the protein archives with Dr. Tassoni, he said. Are we really about to see Liara already? We got Caden on board. Mass Effect 3, though. <laughs> what? Hit the ground running. Full force. This James person, I understand his anger, because I personally wouldn't want to leave either. It's the bigger picture. Going to the Citadel, trying to get support as much I'm as we can. Reach Mars on secure channels. No one's answering. Any sign of Reaper activity? Negative. Edie? The base appears to be online. It's possible the inhabitants were evacuated. We'll know soon enough. Be ready, Joker. Just in case. Roger that. Normandy out. Hey, Caden. We're almost there. Man, we're going the... We went to Mars. The <laughs> fucking left Earth. That is the... And his demise. For the Mars. Still no contact from the base, but we've got a massive storm headed our way. How long till it hits? Half hour tops. After that, we're gonna have difficulty keeping up comms with the Normandy. Understood. 
Easy peasy. We leveled up. Press escape. Okay. Priority Mars. We gotta read the journal here. Mission summary, Priority Mars. Can we look at... Okay. Admiral Hackett ordered the Normandy to Mars to locate new Prothean data that could help defeat the Reapers. But the archives on Mars are not responding. Investigate the dig site and find the Prothean data. There's no... Click on it again. Is there a way to look at... Completed? Because we can't... I, I was so excited in the beginning. There was just so much going on. There's so much codexes that I want to read already. And I... We didn't read the quest itself. The very first part. But there, it doesn't look like it... Maybe we, maybe we didn't get a quest. I don't think we did. I don't think we had a mission somewhere. I think it was just codexes. Two codexes. That's why, yeah, that, yeah, that's why. Sort of my oldest. Fucking hell, we're in Mars, though. I don't know how I feel about leaving Earth like that. Well, I guess we can level up, shall we? We got five points. Shockwave might have to get taken off for now, so we can put other companions' abilities on us. We have so much shit going on here with abilities. Warp throw. I like throw in this game. It's so freaking awesome so far. Reset recharge time after a biotic combo. That sounds so OP. There's so much biotic combos going off. The big noise that we're hearing, the booms, that's biotic combos. Has to be. We're going to find out. Let's do it. Five points? Sure. We're going to level up first. Caden? What's up, Caden? We got Caden here, friends. Already. <laughs> First companion in the game, Caden. Caden Alenko. Reinforced armor. Boost weapon damage, health, shields, barriers. Sure. We'll go on Caden. Durability and damage. Let's do that. 15% for each. We'll go a little bit more. I think we'll just do three for now. Increase health shield bonus by 15%. Increase power damage by 15%, sure. Let me see what else he has, though. Durability, biotic damage, tech damage. Squad bonus increase. Squad mate tech and biotic power. Whoa, it's another Miranda. That's so cool. He's got Reeve. Caden, you got Reeve? You son of a gun, you. Let's do Reeve on Caden. Drain the target's health and disrupt their resistances, receiving increased damage protection while this power is effective. Increase recharge speed by 25%. It's 10 seconds now. Or what is it now? It's 12 seconds. Now it goes down to 10 seconds. That's really good. Because in the uh, second game, we weren't able to affect the recharge time. Were we Were we not? Increase duration. This is what all games need. They need a meter, and they need numbers. Because that just makes it so much easier and so much better. Overload. He's got Reeve and Overload. Oh, Caden, you are awesome. Overload electronics with this power surge, stunning your enemies. Effective against shields, barriers, synthetics. Not effective against organics. Well, it is technically effective against organics, but just not... Not when they take their shield off. Recharge speed by 25%. Yes, please. Damage. 20%. Sure. We have a lot of fucking points here still. Cryoblast. Morton had this. And Cryoblast. Should we do it? We didn't do it in the second game that much. Flash freeze and shatter unprotected enemies. Slow down the rest. Let's do it. We'll do two. For now. What does the second one do? Hold on. Second one did recharge speed. Okay, it seems like the second ability is recharging speed of all the abilities. I think for now we're going to upgrade this to get the squad bonus. I think that's weapon damage, health. We can do health. Let's go with weapon damage, 20%. Biotic damage and tech damage. Since we're an adept, I think I'm gonna use biotic stuff more for Caden. We're gonna still use overload. Well, shit, we're gonna use overload a lot. We're gonna need it. I'm gonna hold this. I'm gonna hold that, Caden. I'm not gonna give you any more points right now. I'm gonna hold it because I wanna see what it feels like in combat between between us. I want to see these. These combos seem to be really serious. I don't know if he has anything to combo off. He's got Reeve, but... 
See, the thing is, let's go to Shepard. This is what I'm getting with the combat so far. The cooldowns are so short. As soon as we strip their shields, we can blow them up with warp and throw. Maybe. But we still haven't seen what was my wish list for an adept. Remember we were talking about, I don't know, a while back. We were talking about just I wish the adept had ways to deal with shields more. Because we had to use energy drain. We weren't able to deal with shields. Like, when we hit someone with a warp bomb in the second game, their armor, it would make a big explosion, do a lot of damage. But when we hit him with the warp and a shield, it didn't really do much. And that was the only downfall of the adept was just not being able to deal with shields. Energy drain or in squad mate with an overload dealt with that. Damn it. Hold on here, James. I'm gonna get to you, I swear. What do you got going on? James has fortification, frag grenade, incinerate ammo, carnage. Carnage. The hell is carnage? Arms master. Boost offense and defensive abilities. Well, we'll go into this first for James. Increase health and shield bonus by 20%. Increase weapon damage by 10%. James, you're going to be tanky, are you? You're going to be our tank, arms master? Yeah, he's got health and he's, he's got health again. He's a beast. Damage and durability again. Increase health and shield bonus by 40%. Increase weapon damage by 20%. That 100% though. Maybe we should... Maybe James should be built like... Grunt. Remember we built Grunt with more health instead of damage? James, we're gonna go health and shields for you. Probably a bad call, but we can. All, I hope we can respect, maybe. I'm not gonna do more into that for now. Frag grenade is what Anderson had, James. Rip your enemies apart. Shrapnel, fat grenade, let's do it. Max capacity by one. Okay, that's that's two in there. Incinerate ammo. And we're not gonna be able to get squad incinerary. What is this carnage? Rip a target into shreds with this vicious blast. Major collateral damage to enemies nearby. Whoa! Radius 1.5 meter damage. What does this do? What's the recharge time? 16 seconds recharge time! Holy hell, James! 20 seconds? This thing must be a fucking beast. We'll hold off for now. Incinerary ammo, James. Shoot and your enemy will burst into flames. More damage, weaken armor, chance to make an enemy panic. Ooh. It's like a stun then, basically. They can panic, they're kind of running away. Improve the odds of panicking target by 15%. It's almost like a fear, right? I would figure. Increase health, armor damage, and bonus by 4%. Sure. We're going to get squad. Squad mates gain incinerary ammo by 50%. They make it so easy to get this squad bonus for ammo in this game. I love it. Five points for arm master. We can give him more. Decrease shield recharge, power damage. Increase power damage by 20%. Decrease shield recharge delay by 20%. Let's do power damage. And then James, I, th I think you're good. That incinerary ammo though, look at his health. Shepard, you got no health. You've got a barrier. Caden don't really have much either. Shepard's got a barrier, but Caden has a shield. Because he's a by odd, or it's because he's a sentinel. We ready for this? We're on, uh... We have a lot of reading to do. We sure the fuck do. For now, I'm gonna get rid of Shockwave. I guess we can just pause and press it if we, cause I wanna try it. Let's see what it looks like. Whoa, maybe we should not get rid of that. Kaden, I kinda want your Reeve up here. James, let's go with this here, Carnage. He's got Overload. Damn, James, I'm not gonna be able to throw a grenade for you. Damn, man, I want more buttons. I want like 12. Well. We'll just pause and press it. We're gonna have to pause a lot, I think. We're gonna have to get used to being paused. What, what does Caden have here? Pistol and... Assault. James has a shotgun. Let's go with the assault rifle for now. Oh, we can't have the assault rifle anymore? Damn it. I was hoping we had the assault rifle again. I want to figure out what's going on here before we head out. I need to do... I want to read... Listen, I want to read the journal. And I will take a mental note when I go into the codex stuff. What to mark out here and what we have left. Because I just... 
We're gonna need to just look in there. Okay? We're gonna need to look in there. I wanna know about just things. I wanna know about everything. I need to know I need to learn about this James. Damn, that's a huge storm. Looks a lot bigger in person. Pretty average for Mars, actually. I'm glad you're so optimistic. Yeah, we've got Reapers invading Earth, the station here is offline. A little dust storm seems like the least of our worries. Fair enough. Caden is right, James. Okay, let's get going. Where where we gotta go? Okay, oh okay, I get it. We're gonna go over here though. Let's go look around. We're on fucking Mars, friends. Can we fall off stuff? No, <laughs> okay. Alright, 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 I get it. Till day. Mars facility approach. Researching the Prothean archives with Dr. Tassoni, and there may be something here. Yeah, but this place has been here for so long. Should have been researching it all along if there is something here, right? Or maybe they just now conveniently found something. <laughs> right. I mean, I, I don't know. What's that? Oh. He's a Lance. Sergeant Reeves. Didn't put up a f before he died. Something's okay, not right here. Keep a low profile till we know what's going on. What'd he say? Roger didn't that. put didn't put up a fight before he died? Caden's uh, out of the squad. Oh, there he is. Sergeant Reeves, how you know him, Caden? I went to zoom in and it seemed like it cut him off. Mantis? Change loadout! Holy, what are we looking at here now? Weapon mods. We got weapon mods. Wish list. They put weapon mods back in the game. Oh, thank you so much, Mass Effect. That was some of the most enjoyable things about the first game. I know it's stupid, but I, just the way I love to play games, when I get so immersed in these games, I love picking and min-maxing our character to its fullest with mod modifications, maybe something with the armor. I want to loot stuff. I want to loot stuff, and I want it to be upgrades for us. I want that feeling. We got the Shuriken and the Predator. Shuriken. It's got new on it. Zero. But one. Power recharge speed plus 200%. See, look, it don't have... Oh, it's got stuff to read in here. As kinetic barriers have grown in popularity, so has the popularity of submachine guns. Manufactured by the Alcos Combine and Shuriken Machine Pistol, fire six round bursts with high rate of fire. That's sick. I like that. I know it's something small, but I always enjoy when games would give you a weapon or armor and you can read about it. What, what, ex what exactly is it is? What is this one though, Predator? One of one, we don't have anything. We're gonna have to get weapons here. I just wish there was numbers here so we can look at numbers. But hey, a meter's fine. Because it looks pretty smooth to be able to this. If there, say we have another pistol, it kind of would look like it would be easy to like look at this one. And then look back, compare it. Hopefully there's a compare feature. A reliable, accurate sidearm manufactured by Alanis Risk Control. The Predator is valued as a powerful, deadly, and relatively inexpensive weapon. While it is not generally developed in the military, it is still very popular in terms of systems. What is this power recharge? The weight. It's 200% here. I'm not getting much on tutorials, though. The Mantis, wait, wait. Power. Power recharge went down. It went down to 50%, and the weight part went up. The Mantis is a powerful sniper able to take out most targets in a single shot. It's incredibly accurate at long range, but rate of fire is slow. Manufactured by Devlin Industries, the Mantis is primarily used by police and planetary militia groups. Or Garrus Vicarian, or just about all of our companions in the second game. Look at this, we put it on... I, I understand, I understand. I see what's going on here. It's pretty self-explanatory. You put more weapons on, your weight goes up because you're carrying the weapons and it makes your recharge time slower. That is really cool, because it doesn't lock us into weapons here, and we can make builds. We can make builds with different weapons. But what happens if we do the sniper, right? And our recharge is at 50% right now. What happens if we get rid of 
this. This is the submachine gun, right? Yeah. Get rid of submachine gun. Look, it takes our... Hold on here. It takes our power down to 100. But not 200. Oh, man, I like 200, though. But what if we get rid of... Uh, we can't get rid of all of our stuff. Is the goal to keep as an adept or just a power user in general? Because I'm... Wondering what other class could be spammy like the adept. But anyways, is the goal to keep this... Power recharge down as high as possible. Plus 50% is still a lot. You probably want to get it to... What happens if... What's here? The Avenger... Oh, shit. Now it's in the red. Minus 50%. So we're slower. Way slower. The Avenger. The Avenger is a common, versatile, military-grade assault rifle manufactured by the Elkos Combine. It's accurate when fired in short bursts and deadly when fired on full auto. It's got two modes, then? Modular design and inexpensive components of the Avenger make it a favorite of military groups and mercenaries alike. The rifle has a reputation for being tough, reliable, easy to use, and easy to upgrade. So we use that one, yeah? I think we should get off of that. What if we get off the submachine gun? 175? It doesn't seem bad, honestly. It really doesn't. 175, it's just a little bit less. Damn it, we even use... Let's not. Let's use this for now. Because it, I want to see what it's like at 200 more. And then we'll just... Uh, I guess we'll just take it from there. We have no mods, though. Hey, Shepard. Do the companions have shit? I don't think they do. One and one. James has a shoddy. Caden's assault rifle. The I don't think the companions don't have the, it. Don't it's not showing a meter here. So, all right, let's go. Come on, we gotta get. I want to get to see what at least is going on here before we head out. You guys are ready or whatever. What was that? Assault Trooper? They know we're here now. Ooh! We got a Cerberus Trooper. Wait, this is Cerberus? Wow. This thing is sick. You hear it? Caden, you got... Woo! Look at debuffs! We just fucking wrecked them! Holy hell! Wait, so, uh, Reeve... Reeve is... Hey, sir! <laughs> Those guys were Cerberus, weren't they? Sure looked like it. Cerberus, oh. what are they doing here on Mars? Good question. You don't know. I'm not with them anymore, Caden, if that's what you're asking. It wasn't, but you have to admit, it's a bit, uh, convenient. Oh, come on, Caden. Cerberus, friends, we're fucking fighting Cerberus here. Why? Not all cells... Okay, listen, not all cells are... From what we know about in the second game, not all cells are legit. Some of them could be... We dealt with a lot of different cells in the first game that was very... I don't even know the word for it. Zealous? Chaotic? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this is not a cell under the elusive man? I I don't know. It's, it's just... It's a bit odd that we're killing Cerberus right now. It's not odd. Well, Look out! It kind of is. But we were just friends, so... so just recently. <laughs> Whoa! Fucking grenade! There it is. This weapon's sick! Hey, you mother F. 
Whopper. Warpin. Doesn't look like they came here in force. Yeah, just a few vehicles. Must have had help from the inside. You could be right. No way they could take this facility with anything less than a full battalion. Hold on. Caden. You're going to go to... Biotic damage. It's seeming like... Okay. It seems like Reeve... Man, I want tutorials, though. I know we had tutorials on, yeah? Hints. We got hints on. But it seems like Reeve just debuffed that target. And we were able to do a biotic combo with Roe. Commander, I thought you told Cerberus to screw off after you wiped out that collector base they were after. That's exactly what I did. Well, one thing's for sure. They're no friend of the Alliance. Agreed. They made the Cerberus the enemy in this game? Oh man, that's rough, Rens. I actually liked uh, the part of Cerberus that we were in, that we were with. I know we had odds with the Elusive Man at the end. And yeah, a lot of Cerberus, the other cells were just crazy at times. And sometimes, well, even the Elusive Man would fund these, these crazy experiments, right? Like the Overload. Overlord DLC, remember that? He pretty much funded it. And then he said he didn't condone the actions of it, of course, but... Suspect, man. Why? Just, it, it's hard to swallow that we're fighting Cerberus right now. Shepard, I need a straight answer. About what? Do you know anything about why Cerberus is here? What makes you think I know what they're up to? You work for them, for God's sakes. How am I not supposed to think that? It was a temporary alliance. They work for me. I guess it was a temporary alliance. I'm not going to say they worked for you, Shepard. Yeah, we want to think that, but the elusive man was still in charge. It was a temporary alliance. We... I would say that we used them. At best. We joined forces to take down the Collectors. That's it. There's more to it. They rebuilt you from the ground up. They gave you a ship. Resources. Let me be clear. I've had no contact with Cerberus since I destroyed the Collector base. And I have no idea why they're here now, or what they want. Commander Shepard's been under constant surveillance since coming back to Earth. No way they've communicated since. Sorry, Shepard. It's just that... We've been through a lot. Get over it. I appreciate the assist there, James. We have been through a lot, Caden. Get over it. I don't want to tell him to just get over it. I don't... I just don't. It's okay to vent your... Man, Atticus, you're looking good. He looks awesome! <laughs> this threw me off guard. So, Atticus, you look cool, man. <laughs> I love when the graphics are great. But anyways. It's okay for him to vent. Because it does seem strange. Yeah, Cerberus is here. Now Shepard's here. Cerberus seems to be an enemy now. And we were working together in a second game. I can't say I didn't... I didn't see that coming. I kind of didn't. I was... Well, after our fight with the Elusive Man, I was hoping that we would still be allies, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. At least we don't know. We don't know if this is on the Elusive Man's orders why they're here. I shouldn't have to explain myself to you, Caden. That was sick. It's true. Please, trust me. I do, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... <laughs> there she is! Easy there, Lieutenant. She's with us. <laughs> He's about to fight her. <laughs> Shepard, thank the goddess you're alive. 
Liara. You too, Liara. I was so worried when the reports came in. I'm sorry about Earth. Yeah. It was hard to leave like that. Caden, I'm sorry. But why'd you come here? Hackett ordered us to come. Said you'd know what was going on. I do. Hallelujah. Some answers, finally. Maybe. I've discovered plans for a Prothean device. One that could wipe out the Reapers. Here on Mars? What? In the Prothean archives, yes. Wait. We're just learning this now. That's the fucking first thing that came to my mind. Wait. All this time? <laughs> Liara slapped their ass with a singularity. <laughs> fucking right, man. We're just learning this now. Yeah, fucking hell. Why? We've known about the archives for decades. Why now? Process of elimination mixed with a little desperation. When you destroyed the Alpha Relay, you bought us some time, but then you were under investigation. I knew I had to do something. Hackett knew it too. He contacted me, asking if I would use my resources as a shadow broker to find a way to stop the Reapers. My search led me here. Hackett got me access to the archives and kept me updated on your status. I meant to come see you, but... I missed you too. I need to just discuss something for a second, because I, I really can't wait to say this, I want to hear it. But anyways, I need to discuss how the flow of this game is going at the moment. It's different from the second game, because the second game, yeah, it had the cutscenes and such, and we were able to interact. But it seems like the integration from just a regular scene to a cutscene and be able to... Like, I noticed it when we were talking to Caden down there. We were going in the elevator, then all of a sudden it just transitioned. So perfect. And then of course coming off, when we were coming off the shuttle, it was just slowly just transitioning into the scene and that's so cool, really immersive stuff. It just feels like a big ass cutscene so far. Just how the flow is going here. I miss you too. I did. And Liora has been Shadow Broker for about, I'm going to say this has to be about a year afterwards. We bought time, okay? But it seems like, yeah. This may have been there the whole time, but now that Liara became broker, it was easier for her to find this, whatever the hell it is. And then I love that she's working with Hackett. That's so fucking brilliant. I would have liked that, but under the circumstances, I think I can forgive you. You're too kind. <laughs> In any case, my work paid off. The archives are full of data, an overwhelming amount. I think I found what we need. Sounds too good to be true. Finally some good news. Yeah, but it does sound too good to be true. Does it not? We just find this? Destroy the Reapers? Listen, there was something that came up. It was in the DLC of the Shadow Broker. Remember when we talked to Liara? We talked to Liara in the Shadow Broker DLC, and she told us that she believed that the Shadow Broker thought something more was out there. Is that a hint at this? She said that to us when we asked her about the Shadow Broker or just uh, the Protheans in general. It was something in that DLC when we talked to her. And she said that she believed that the Shadow Broker thought that there was more out there. This had, this might be it then. Maybe? Seems too good to be true. Finally some good news. I guess I'll believe it when I see it. Where do we find this weapon? It's not a weapon, not yet. It's plans for a device, a blueprint. It's more than we had a minute ago. How do we get it? The archives are just across that tramway. Assuming Cerberus hasn't locked it down. What are they after? Yeah, they seem hell-bent on catching you. They want what I'm here for. What we're all here for. But why? The Protheans came close to defeating the Reapers. They had plans to destroy them, but ran out of time. And anything powerful enough to destroy the Reapers just might be something Cerberus would be interested in. So it's a race to the archives. <laughs> huh? What was that? We've got company. <laughs> Bring it on. Oh yeah. Not this time, James. What? Get back to the ship. If Cerberus beats us to the archives, I need you covering the exits. But now. 
Sorry, James. You don't got to replace. <laughs> oh, man. I want more time with James, I though. We should take cover. I was hoping we were going to get all the companions here. Looks like they found us. The race. Shift. Display power. We always got singularity. Should we do a backup singularity up there? Or. We always throw your singularity. Whoa! We don't have to hit. We don't have to aim. Like, come out and aim. We can just. You can't hide forever. Oh, oh this is badass. They throw a cluster grenade up there. You're going you to like need that? more than guns to finish them, Shepard. We fucking missed completely. Hold on, Leor. We got another one back there. That was Caden. Good. Let's find a way up. That was Caden's Reeve, used as an explosion. So it seems like okay, warp. When I pick somebody up with the abilities to pick people up, we're able to explode them with warp. Is it all detonators? And what would be the other word for it? Debuffers? Well, yeah, debuffers, but primers? Hey, Liara. It's good to see you again. She has... There's, the Protheans had plans to destroy the Reapers, and they were close, but they left the plans here on Mars? Is it because the Protheans studied humanity? Right? And maybe they seen potential in humanity? Use lift controls? Hold on here. Before we go any further... Let me look around completely. See what's going on. They've sabotaged the elevator. There's gotta be another way up. Alright, alright, right. I wanna look around though. I wanna look around, make sure we're getting all the loot. And friends, Mass Effect 3 though. We got Caden and Liara here already. That is absurd. They just Hit the ground running. I said it, man. I said it. I said I hope they keep the momentum from the suicide mission on. And it seems like they really are. This James person, I feel bad, James, that you're not you're not here. Got back to the shuttle. Let me look at Liara and I'm gonna level her up and then we'll call it. Because I still want to really get through them codexes and see what we can mark out and what we can't. I'll probably do it off camera, but I will write down anything that I may accidentally write or a rover, or I'll just remember. Okay, Oop, sticky note, that's what we missed. All right, Liara's got Singularity Stasis, Warp Ammo, Warp and Pure Biotic. Biotic, Boost Biotic and Defensive Abilities. Boost Biotic and Defensive Abilities, let's do it. Durability and recharge. Increase health and shield bonus by 10%. Increase recharge speed bonus by 20%. Does she have a squad stuff too? I hope. Caden has squad stuff. Did James have squad stuff? I don't know. Increase health and shield bonus by 10%. Increase recharge speed by 20%. Damn, Liara. You're gonna be spamming. Recharge speed. Increase health and shield by 20%. Increase recharge speed of all powers by 40%? Fucking hell. Power recharge speed is 100%. Weapon damage, duration of force. Squad bonus, increase recharge speed of all squad mate biotic powers by 10%. Yep. Increase power force and duration. Increase weapon damage, power force and duration. And then recharge speed of all biotic squad powers by 10%. Leora, you. Well, safe to say you're probably gonna go a lot of places with Shepard. We'll do warp. Rip your enemy apart. Let's do it. And then the recharge speed of warp. We'll do two in warp. Ammo. Oh, we'll do one in stasis. And then we need to work on. Well, let me see what stasis is. You can't damage anybody in stasis. I think one and done might be good. If it's like the other games, stop an enemy in its tracks with a powerful Mass Effect field. No effect on armored targets. Enemies eventually break the stasis after taking major damage. You can stasis the enemy, but they break stasis because of major damage. Does that mean we can damage them through stasis now? Just automatically? 
because that would be absolutely amazing. Warp ammo. Last vulnerable opponents already lifted by biotics for a damage bonus and weaken the armor of grounded targets. More weapon damage, more damage to barriers and armor. Yeah, we are. You are fucking badass. Companion. Increase damage to lifted targets by 25%. Increase health and armor damage by 5%. Increase barrier damage by 10%. But the squad effectiveness is... We get it at 50% effectiveness. That's totally fine because it was like that in the second game too, yeah? Let's do more damage and then we will get this the next time we can and then we'll kind of just upgrade the rest of the stuff as we go and Liara's got a really low health pool she's got a pretty big barrier though Hayden's got good shields Shepard's got a big barrier and big health Hayden's got one point well we can't do much into that but Liara sounds like what is her singularity and stasis right now what is the recharge time of it 11 seconds for stasis singularity is what 4 seconds Jesus. Holy. What is Shepherds? Oh, I'm gonna be nerding out in this so much because there's so much more. <laughs> Fucking one second. <laughs> Fucking one second, man. What the hell? <laughs> We're not even needing to fire our weapons. We just we just don't. I'm thinking about getting rid of these grenades here. Not getting rid of them, but taking it off so we can put more abilities on the screen. Like do we... I haven't even... We've barely seen anything with shields. It's just all health bars. So... Not a problem for someone with biotics. Uh, thank you. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> I appreciate that, Liara. We'll do her stasis here. Let me see it. Hell, man. Friends, we just... Uh... That's a big cooldown for stasis, yeah? We'll do stasis here. And then her singularity. Damn, just... Oh, we're gonna have so much explosions. We got overload up there. We haven't used it at all. Man, I'm... I'm just, uh... I'm just ecstatic that we're here. It's kind of like a surreal experience here, friends. That we're just, uh... We're finally in Mass Effect 3. It's just, we've come a long way, you know? We've come a long way. And we've done a lot of things up to this point. And, well, here we are. This is the last... Journey for Shepard. And... Man, they just... Earth. We lost Earth already. Anderson staying behind on Earth. The child dying in that shuttle. That just killed me, man. Absolutely wrecked my feelings. The music so far. We talked about it. Look, Mass Effect 2's music. Okay, let's start at the first one. Mass Effect 1's music was pretty good. It had its tracks that were really good. Specifically at the end of the game. Mass Effect 2 had some great tracks. When we were just doing loyalty missions or when we were recruiting companions. And then the suicide mission happened and absolutely destroyed all music up to that point. But Mass Effect 3 is already introducing so many awesome tracks, and you know that just that's just something I rave about. And uh, I'm just wondering how many times in this playthrough I'm going to be like, wow, did you hear that music? This music, though. Holy hell, the music! Yeah, it's going to be a lot, I'm sure. And, um, well, the Reapers are here. The Reapers are here. We have a lot of reading to do. We sure the fuck do have a lot. Since it's the end of the episode, we can do this together. I'm gonna make a save. Let's make a hard save here. Sure. We haven't made one yet. Yeah, right, Atticus. And let's go through the journal together. Because if I miss something, we're not gonna play anything right now. I'm just gonna mark stuff out. The Asari you heard? were the first species to discover the second species to join them. roughly 1,200 years ago. Okay, so he's going to talk, and it's going to be hard for me to talk over him talking. I'll probably just do it off camera then. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into every single codex like that. In the second game, like I said, there was a tip to just go ahead and mark it all as viewed. As soon as you get into the game, which we did, and all the codexes that we got would be new. I'm going to do it off camera. Because it's going to be... I'm not going to be able to talk with him talking. I don't want to ruin his luscious voice. <laughs> he does have a good voice. It, it feels like it, it's so relaxing. Anyways, I'll mark it all out. And then when we come in next episode, we'll start reading more. Well, we can look at this one. Is it, This is secondary is all reading stuff, yeah? I'll just do it off camera. I will. 
and then we will take it from there. But anyways, my friends, it is an absolute honor to finally bring Mass Effect 3 to the channel. This is going to be a very long playthrough. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to do everything possible. I'm going to just try to really jump into every aspect of this game. Is there a way, before we head out, I know I'm just bullshitting and rambling around. We, I did install the mod called the Community Patch thing or whatever it is, the Legendary Edition Community Patch, because that mod helped us so much in the second game with bugs. It was brought up that it is in the, you'll see a mod part in the settings. Well, there's no mod part in the settings. Look, I imported it and it did say it was imported. So if something new or something comes up that may have been a bug that you know specifically and the mod's not working, do let me know. I'll keep trying to fix it. But from my knowledge, the mod is in the game. It's just, it's just in there. So, but taking in this game, this last little hoorah we have and just uh, maximizing our immersion and everything that comes with it is going to be one big treat and i'm just uh i'm just so happy caden liara <laughs> just got them already fucking absurd two companions that really weren't in the second game and look at it this way remember when we spent all that time trying to figure out who that companion was and it ended up being legion i kept suspecting that it was caden I had like a 10% feeling that it was Liara, and about 90% feeling that it was Caden. I even theorized that it may have been Ashley coming back from the grave, but, well, definitely wasn't. And here we are. Anyways, I'm just rambling on, but thank you all for being here. I will see you all next time. Take care. Have a good one.